Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So all of the panicle hydrangeas in my garden are now in full bloom. And so I thought I'll give you a quick update on all of the panicle hydrangea trees that I've trained in the last uh, six or so years. So I do have uh, panicle hydrangea trees that range from one all the way to five years old. So what you're looking at right now is one of the two limelights that I've trained six years ago. So if you count the number of years where the limelights have grown into that tree form, this would be its fifth full year. But if you include that very first year when I had just that single stem, that would be six. So whichever way you want to call it, uh, that's fine. But I, I would say it's in its fifth full year as a tree form. And this one is one that is on the west side. And here you're looking at the other limelight tree that is also in its fifth full year as a tree form. Uh, and this one is growing on the um, east side of our north facing garden. So our garden faces north this way. This is the east uh, tree. Now both of these do get full sun uh, because normally in the summertime we get sunlight up to about here. So all of these get full sun. Anything that we have beyond this point don't usually get as much sun. Looking at the limelight on the west side right now, you can kind of see that it looks like it's a little bit behind the limelight tree on the east side. So the trees being in its fifth year, you can kind of see that it's almost full grown. Um, it's about seven feet or a little bit more than seven feet tall and almost about six feet wide. It's just a canopy. So the blooms are still in that sort of chartreuse green with a little bit of creaminess on some of the panicles, but most of them still have that sort of chartreuse uh, green because the um, florets haven't fully opened yet. And I'm filming and you can kind of see the rain clouds coming. So it looks like the rain is coming soon. So I'll be really, really quick. I would say this is one of the most beautiful thing in the garden right now because everything is still looking so fresh with the florets still sort of in that chartreuse green with a little bit of creamy um, color on the bottom of each panicle. So I think that looks really, really pretty. And I know it's hard to see, but the trunk of this tree, I, I would say it's the, the diameter would be about three inches wide. So in its first year, it was about half an, an inch. So you can kind of see that it has grown so much in the last five, four years since it has uh, been growing as a tree form. Right now you are looking at the limelight on the east side of the garden. And just by looking at the panicles, you can see that the tree is a little bit ahead of the limelight on the west side. The majority of the panicles on this limelight are a little bit ahead of the other tree on the west side. And many of the panicles have that sort of white creaminess to them, but there are some that still have that chartreuse green color at the top where the florets have not opened yet. I would say this is absolutely like one of the most stunning thing um, in the garden right now because everything else is starting to look fade. And so it's kind of nice to have a variety of different hydrangeas that bloom at different time for you. So this I think is like the highlight of the uh, garden in August. And just like the other tree, this one is also about seven feet tall and about six feet wide in terms of the canopy. So it looks like uh, they've grown to their almost their mature size. And here you can see, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but this part here is that bobo that I had trained. Oh dear, um, I've lost track of time, but I would say in its fourth full year right now but you can still see the outline, I think, of the canopy right here, right? Really, really pretty. And here up close, you can kind of see the trunk of this uh, bobo tree. Um, it is a very petite uh, tree, so the trunk here, I would say, is just almost about an inch on the bottom here, but at the top, it's about three quarter inch in diameter. And here you can clearly see the canopy here that I had kept originally um, one, one, two, three, four stems in here, um, and uh, every since then, 
I have kind of cut them back. Now, this one I've actually um, pruned them back way, way hard uh, to about 50%. So all these stems that you see on here are pretty long and lanky. And one of the most beautiful thing about uh, Bobo is that it's got that fluffiness to the panicles, which I think uh, it looks really, really pretty to me. Um, the florets tend to be a little bit smaller compared to the limelight, but uh, this is actually one of my favorites for the reason being that it is small and uh, the panicles are compact and, 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 and full and yet at the same time the stems are strong and they don't get floppy. And right over here you can are looking at the bobo tree that I've actually just trained this year. So I actually divided up from a bush and took out the stem and allow it to grow into that tree. So this to me technically is in its first full year in tree form. I think it looks pretty good for a tree that's in its first year, right? So I'll come a little closer so you can actually see the canopy. I'm pointing at the um, top of the tree where the original one flower was that I cut back this spring. And then since then, I know it's hard to see with all the leaves here. Um, but since then, I've allowed uh, three uh, stems to grow from that node. And then I've got another two on the bottom here. So this canopy right now has about five stems that forms the five flowers that you see up here. And here you're looking at another bobo tree that I've got and I think this one is in its third full year in tree form. And if you've been watching um, the videos that I've had from two years ago, you probably see that this tree was a tiny little looking thing. But since then I think it has uh, grown out really really pretty and I like that compact look to the tree. So it looks like the rain actually started for us uh, today as the uh, weather network had indicated. So we have a severe thunderstorm watch in the area right now and we haven't had rain in about, I would say, a week or so. So this is a nice change, even though my filming was interrupted. I don't know if I uh, told you already, but uh, I have not watered the garden in the last, I would say, five days or so. So this is a really, really good change for all the plants to have a little bit of rain. You can kind of see some of the uh, bobo panicles are burnt as well. Right? So I will resume filming once the rain ends. So here you're looking at the uh, two trees that I uh, trained recently. Now this is one of the two vanilla strawberries that I trained last year. And you can kind of see that the blooms are quite large. And that's why they are kind of looking a little floppy just after that heavy rain that we just had. And from this view, you can kind of see that heavy uh, panicle there that's kind of flopped to the side. And you can kind of see here, this is the reason why I usually uh, let, you know, the canopy have at least five to six uh, branches because this is what happened from the rain that we've had just now. Look at the damage that I have on that stem from hitting right there. I think it was hitting the, the stake like that. So all the wind that we had lately must have damaged the stem so I think I'm gonna cut the flower off so that the stem can heal and so uh, like I said before this is one of the reasons why I actually um, allow more stems to grow when the plant is a little younger just so that even if one or two break I can still have uh, at least a few more stems to make the canopy look a little bit fuller from this view you can clearly see why so I'm gonna actually cut the flower off right now just so that it doesn't end up breaking at that point because it looks like that stem is pretty damaged that uh, it won't be able to survive. So that's where the damage is. And I'm gonna leave one, two, three, four nodes. I'll cut just above there, about a quarter inch or so. I'm going to take this inside and put it in the vase and enjoy it indoors. So pretty. There, I think that looks so much better now with that uh, one panicle cut off. So that stem may not survive, but that's okay. I've got about four more uh, stems on there that I think will still make the canopy very full next year. So just in case you uh, wonder what it looked like earlier in the spring before I prune everything back, I'll put the video in the description for you below. 
Here is the limelight in its second year as a tree form. Last year, um, at this time, the limelight tree looked exactly like that with about uh, four or, or so blooms on it. So since then, I've pruned everything back and allowed, uh, I think I left about three nodes on the original four stems that were there last year. The reason why I wanted to leave at least three or four nodes on each of the four stems that I had left from last year is because I wanted smaller uh, panicles on the limelight so they don't get as floppy, uh, especially after a heavy rain like we did, what we just had today. Even though the uh, panicles are smaller, but you can kind of see that they are somewhat still floppy looking uh, after the heavy rain. What I may have to do if these branches end up being a bit too floppy, I will probably cut down the panicles like I did on the vanilla strawberry just now. So this limelight tree also had a branch that was damaged like the vanilla strawberry that was cut off and this year it grew out brand new branch on top uh, of the cut where I um, removed the broken branch. And I love limelight at this time, like I said, just like the one in the back, it is still in a sort of a church juice green. Now, even though this plant gets full sun, but somehow it is still a little bit behind the uh, limelight that I have on the east side of the back garden. And here is a good contrast between the blooms of the vanilla strawberry versus the limelight at this time of the year. The limelight is more of a creamy white with a little bit of the churchill's green from the florets that haven't opened up yet. Whereas the panicles on the vanilla strawberry is a sort of a full sort of white color that's not as creamy as the um, limelight. In terms of blooming, the vanilla strawberry actually blooms about a week or almost two weeks before the limelight. So that's why it's fully in this white sort of color stage right now, which I think is really, really pretty. And look how compact the florets are. And that's what makes the panicles really heavy um, after the heavy rain that we had. And some of the uh, florets on the uh, limelight is still that chartreuse green, which I think is really pretty as well. But the others are more of a creamy white color here. Here is the second vanilla strawberry tree that I also trained last year. So it is also in its first full year as a uh, tree form. Just like the other vanilla strawberry tree, this one is also uh, burned because, like I said, I did not fill up the uh, water reservoir of the subwater container until recently. So hopefully uh, I will put that in my calendar to check it more often just in case that happens again. So this one um, actually has uh, six stems and all the stems actually survived from uh, this past spring except for the one here that I had to cut back um, a few weeks ago in that um, sort of windstorm that we had where the panicle actually broke off and the stem actually had um, also a little bit of damage there, just like the one that I showed you earlier. You can see how heavy this one panicle gets because it's large sheer size. So what I may end up doing is I may leave about four or five nodes and then cut that panicle off to take inside to enjoy with the other panicle that I cut earlier. There, I think that looks so much better now because um, the canopy is not going to be too weighted uh, on the one side where it's more balanced. So I think that will look better so that the stems and the trunk can, can be easily uh, kept straight as well. Here is the uh, bobo in its second year in tree form. And I think that looks really, really pretty right now. Look how full the panicles look even though it's only in its second year. So here you can actually see the original three stems that I had on um, in its first year last year. And if you watch the pruning video that I had um, at the beginning of the season, you might uh, notice that I did leave at least three, four nodes on each of the three stems uh, so that it can uh, provide a sort of wider and fuller canopy. I think this is probably one of my favorite trees right here. It's just so pretty. So that pretty much concludes today's video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.